Hey there, my name is Kathy Barker from Software Solutions and you're looking at one of the videos that I've created in a collection of videos for my Power BI Reports and Visualizations Level 2 course. I hope you're enjoying the videos. Please like or subscribe. It's really important that we get some feedback that we are actually being uh, producing good stuff. Now what I want to do is show you how you add buttons to your report because as we've been working through these videos we've created quite a few pages and in fact 12 pages and I want to make it really easy for the user to be able to navigate between the various pages in this report. And so we're going to work with buttons now. Now you can create buttons, individual buttons. You can just go to insert and there's actually a buttons option here. And you can create a button that goes back or goes forward or provides information or gives you a blank button. But I actually want to create a navigator, a, a button called a navigator and a page navigator because I want to create a collection of buttons that move between the pages. So if I choose that, I have now got at the very top of this page a page navigator which I can then just pick up and move over to the right a little bit so it's to the right of my heading. I may have to move some of these other visuals down a little bit so I'll bring this matrix down, I'll bring the scorecard down and I'll bring this graph down a little bit. All right now as far as formatting this um, particular page navigator what we can do, for example, is we can go to shape and each of these buttons is appearing as a rectangle. Well, I might decide actually there's all these different types of shapes that I can choose from. So I might choose a pill shape, which is more of a round oval and less space taken. I might also decide that I want to change the style. Um, for example, I might choose a different fill color or border, etc. Um, but I'm actually not going to choose the style. What am I going to choose? I would like to change the style for certain states. Okay, so when I'm looking at the default state of a button on order, the uh, fill color is white. Uh, I would like to change that to blue. So that's a blue color. Now, I don't like that, so I'm going to change that back to white. Let's change the state of what button you hover over. If I hover over a button, then I want it to appear maybe blue. And so as I rest on a button, it gets the hover color blue. So I can test it just by hovering over it. But let's say no, let's change that to red. So if I hover over a button, now I see red. Okay, so if I select a button, what do I see? So we change the state from hover to selected. If I select a button, it's currently filled in black, when I mean, you can see it there, but I'd like to change that to blue. So if I select a button, it goes blue. If I hover over a button, it goes red. But the default state is that it's got a white background. Now to test this, I literally hold the control key and I click on in stock. And it takes me to that page. And if I go back to the page I was on, on order, I hold the control key and I click on order volumes and I go there. So to test your hover buttons, in fact to test any buttons, you've actually got to hold the control key for them to actually work. If you just click them, they won't work. So you've got to hold the control key. So I'm just making sure I'm happy with the look of this. I'm sort of happy with that. And now what I want to do is I want to copy and paste that and put it onto every single page. I'll just arrow it down a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to right click. No. Control C. Copy. I'm going to go to in stock. I've got a little bit of room up there. So I'm going to click and paste. Control V. It remembers sort of where I pasted. If I choose the whole page, close my sync slices, there's my buttons. So it's on that page, it's on that page. Now I go to order volumes, I will fit to whole page, and I will then paste. So I can see how it fits on the entire page. Opportunities analysis, control V. Uh, top sales, control V. And just simply paste the buttons, top three sales, control V and paste the page navigator 
to every single page that you want them to be able to access in your report. Decomposition, sales influences, sales geography, and trend analysis. Okay, so you've got a page navigator which you can hold the control key and test. That's sales geography, sales influences, sales decomposition, sales evolution, so you can easily jump to any page in your report just using your page navigator. So that's that. If you wanted to create a button other than the page navigator, let me just find a place where there's a little bit of room to move, then you could just go insert button and choose from this collection of buttons. Notice also you can insert um, images, pictures. So if I wanted to, I could put a picture. I just have to find it. It might be my company logo and put that into my report as well. Just be mindful, it can get really busy really, really quickly. Um, so those are action buttons, and I'm going to save my Power BI, and 